What's going on, everybody? How's everybody's afternoon going so far? We are going to try and do some corn today. And Ricky has set up our new trailer to be able to um, offload the corn. Now, I'm going to try and see if I can figure this thing out, but I don't know how it's going to work out. What's going on, um, Lone Jedi? How are we doing, my friend? How is your day going so far? Did you just, uh... What? Did we just become best friends? You yeah. just subscribed. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for the subscription. Wow, you're, uh, eight months. Is it eight months, yeah, that you've been subscribed? Yeah, it looks like it. Eight months uh, uh, with your Prime. Sweet. Thank you so very much, buddy. All right, we gotta... I'm kind of lost here today. I'm a little out of sorts, so we're gonna kind of wing it my camera's still looking jacked up i tried fixing it a little bit and i think i messed it up even more so i think we're just gonna roll with it today and then uh, we'll get her figured out hopefully next day or so but we're gonna get out to our field here we got a couple we got the big kahuna field is which one i'm gonna try and work on today and like i said ricky's got uh our trailer that's going to be able to allow us to um, offload into the trailer and it'll sell it so we're gonna try that I don't know if the if the um, grain carts gonna be able to work with it yet I think we're still got to fix that part so what we want to do is have the grain cart follow us and offload into the trailer then the trailer goes and sells it so we'll get over here to our truck and get that roll into the field and then we'll have to get our get into our harvester here so let's see how this works out now I'm, I just got a new uh, monitor also so we got our other monitor up it's gonna take a few minutes for me to remember how to work all this stuff here because now I got two monitors so one's got the um, the chat up on it and some music stuff going on then the other one's got the uh, OBS on here so we'll see what we can get working on this all right let's get into here let's turn it down just a titch <clears throat> all right so let's get in our truck and get that on, on its way and now we got to do the alt zero let's pull up the auto drive and we're going to go to field 30 weight so let's see if it rolls off to where it needs to go oh shoot wrong one we need the big kahuna field so big kahuna semi weight so it should start taking off now and we're going to meet over with that on the field there once we get into our harvester. Let me just double check something real quick. I just want to make sure the music isn't too loud here. We might need to turn it down in a minute here. All right, so let's get over to the our harvester. I do have it set up so it's over by our store, so we got everything hooked up on it. We're just gonna get into it, bring it over to the field, and then we'll uh, see if we can get the grain cart working along with it. I 
And there goes our truck. It's heading in the right direction, at least. Alright, we'll park right here. A shutter down. And then we'll get into our harvester. Alright, driver, no driver to work, okay, so that's not what we want anyways. Alright, so we want to turn that off right quick, and we'll drive over to, our big kahuna field. Let's get some beacons on, some four ways on. What's going on, Ricky? You're online, but with a multiplayer game up. I'm working on setting up... Oh, shit. I didn't know you were home today. Um, crap. Um, do you want me to jump in your, your thing there, bud? Because I have it on multiplayer also. Ah, man, let me get into... Let me see if Discord... Let me open up Discord here, too. Hello, hello. Is it Ricky here? Oh, I see you're lit up, but you're not saying anything. Hang on, let me make sure I got everything set here. Um, some things have changed a little bit here. Voice and video. Hang on. Output going to. Uh, should be at. Wavelink browser. No. Crap. My damn voice settings in Discord changed. Hang on. Let's let's see if we can figure this out here. Um. We don't want it in voice thing. We want it in Discord, which is aux one. Something happened when I moved this Discord over to the other thing here. Um, hello? Hello? All right, yeah, it's in the wrong channel here. Let me, I gotta find, oh, there, I gotta scroll down here, Discord. Okay, hello? Hello. Okay, now I can hear you. Some reason when I was messing with the Discord and I moved it to the other the other screen that I got, I couldn't get it to it switched like audio devices or something. It moved to like my TV or some crap. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, so you're in are you in multiplayer right now? Yeah. Ah. Crap. All right. Yeah, I I fixed I have field 30 set up for auto drive and now I'm working on the big kahuna. All right, so Thursday or not Thursday, Tuesday night after we got done streaming, my wife came in and she goes, "Hey, I don't think our heater's working." Yeah. And uh sure enough, our furnace went out Tuesday night. So <sighs> it's been like 50 degrees inside of our house. Like my house is freezing right now. So I have a part coming today. So I'm I'm off work trying to get that fixed. What, so I, while I'm waiting, I what, figured I'd hop up here and play. What part you got? What what part went? You think went bad? <clears throat> the control board, the main control board. Ah, six hundred bucks. Frick. Yeah. How how do you figure that it was that though? Just out of curiosity. Um. So when I went down there, there's LED lights on the control board. Yeah. <clears throat> and they are normally in some sort of a blinking state even if it's even if the board has gone bad you'll get an error light blink sequence it'll blink the red light will blink like four times and then you go look at the chart and it'll tell you what's wrong with it oh, okay <clears throat> mine wasn't blinking at all so i got my multimeter out and i tested the transformer and i got 120 volts coming into the transformer 
and I got the 24 volts coming out, which is what goes to the board. And then you go on the bottom of the board and it's got all these connectors like an R, a G, a Y, a W. Yeah. All those connectors on it. Well, there should be a common. And if you test common to R, that should be your same 24 volts. And it was. And then when you test R to W, you should have 24 volts. That's what fires off the ignition because I have a gas furnace. Yeah. I had 24 volts there. I tested R to G, which is the fan, the blower, and I had 24 volts there. And I also tested R to Y, which is your AC, which we don't have, but I still had 24 volts there. So the board's getting power. Everything was good. I've had to replace this board before. <clears throat> so when I replaced it last time, I kept my old board and I put my old board back in, which was semi working, but not working. Like I could run the fan, but I couldn't ignite the furnace. So I put the old board back in, and I could run the fan, but I couldn't ignite the furnace. So that tells me the board's bad again. Ah, jeez. So we're going to replace the board and hopefully get heat going in the house so when we're gone on vacation, hey, and the house isn't Don't freeze up. Cold. Yeah. And so I got to do that. And then um, once we get back, then we're going to have to replace the furnace because it's like 18 years old. Ah, jeez. So it's it's frustrating. It's very very frustrating. Yeah, you know, we when we moved in our house, we they had a company that was already maintaining the furnace, and we had them out to check the furnace and everything. And they said that we had uh, the main what is it where the flames are at? There was a, it was starting to have cracks or whatever in it, and yeah. they thought they could let it you know ride for a year or so, and then finally it just started getting even worse. No, then we had a we had a leak in our a in our air conditioner the the a coil that goes in the top of the furnace there and it yep. was leaking water on the bottom and so they replaced the tray but they cut apart half the damn furnace to get to it and then like shortly after that the freaking flame thing went out like it was it was yeah. wor it was so much worse that that they said that it was getting you're going to end up getting carbon monoxide in the house and so we uh we end up having to replace our furnace and air conditioner but we went with a different company we had a company that had replaced our furnace and air conditioner in the old house um so i know um, your pain do you mind me asking how how much that ran you <laughs> um, just out of curiosity because i'm waiting for my quote i would have to i'd have to go upstairs and pull the the file but i want to say i want to say it was at least 10 grand for the air conditioner and furnace but as far as I know, last time we had the guys out, because they do a maintenance program on our, our thing, so every every six months they'll come out and they'll either clean the furnace or they'll clean the air conditioner, whatever one, and replace filters. And they said because of COVID and and all the all the you know shortages on parts, like our furnace right now, our furnace and air conditioner right now would probably cost like thirty grand. And that was like six months Jeez. ago. You know, they, they wouldn't even quote they won't even quote people on the furnace and air conditioner that we have right now because it's it's just so crazy astronomically priced. So, you know, it basically is gonna depend on what area you're in and how available the parts are now or furnaces and air conditioning, um, to how high or low the prices are for them to get a brand new one. Oh, so you already got the truck and everything out here. Yeah, see, I had started. Well, yes, yeah, well, I started doing it a little bit uh, yesterday. I got, I got, I was messing with the truck to see if I could even do it, but then I couldn't get. Um, I knew we didn't have. Uh, we didn't have the grain cart uh, available to see if we could offload it into the truck. All right, I got something going on here. So got to double check what's happening here. Is one of those green carts still available to uh, offload the harvester? Well, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to get that set up. So okay. I got the auger. Oh. Auger offload, auger weight. Why is it trying to drive there? Something's not jiving. So I managed I have, to oh, I see something bad right here. <clears throat> okay, that's fixed. 
Are you uh, live on your Discord at all? Uh, no. Okay. Um, let me just, if I can, all I got to do, I mean, everything is set up right now, except for these guys are not going to their wait point. And that's what I got to get them to do is I got to get them to go to their wait point and they're driving past it. You're, you're right now, you're in the yeah. area where the wait point is. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and pull, pull up, just kind of like start a second headland, follow on the inside of, of uh, mine. Okay. So we need to, yeah, let's lower this up here. Yeah, I just figured I was going to do a little bit of a stream here. I, I managed to get a few things fixed this morning. Um, I can't tell. Do I have, so I do have stream stickers on here. No, that's sound alerts. Wait, yeah, those are stick. So there is stickers on here. Just trying to see if I can play a couple. Um... What a, that, that's kind of a pain in the ass, them street stickers. They, like, you had a, like, I had to turn off, like, a crap load of steam, stream stickers, and I got tired of it, like, to figure out which oh. ones were on or off, because I thought you just pick which ones you want and put them in, you know, you, whatever slots you have available. And uh, it, it would basically had all of them turned on. So oh, I don't even yeah. know how many's on. There's... Yeah, it looks like there's a crazy amount of freaking stickers on here. So I was just trying to mess with it a little bit. All right, let's see if I can get something cut here. So once I get this set up, then this should be good to go. All right, let right me get now, my lines not, set up here. Something's not jumping. But I looked up a video. I, feel, I found a video of how to fix the squeaks on my on my uh, <laughs> on my my pedals. So yeah. I'm planning on doing that tomorrow, or maybe later on today. Looks pretty simple. Okay, so I got I got one auger in the right spot. Oh, I know what I need. Is this? I need to see if the semi's got anything in it. Because it did have. Still has so let's send him to go down. And let's send this guy to go back to our wait point. Oops, I'm gonna jump out of here, here and move yours backwards here. Hang on, I'm I'm gonna hop into it. Oh okay. All right, someone just played that. I don't know who. Um, hang oh, on. We're gonna miss a row. Y yeah, no, I'm, I just figured I'd move across here. I mean, yeah, I think I, think I gotta go first. Oh, so Lone Jedi just played that. I didn't have to. Here, let me shut off this and move over. Yeah, let me get back on the edge and see how this works. Yeah, there was like, I don't know how many. There must have been, every time I scrolled down on the stream stickers, there was more that pop up, and I couldn't figure out how to get, turn off, you know. I just, I just left them all on. Did you? I mean, there's some of them that were just so goofy. What's that? That's something weird. So stream stickers just posted some. Get in on the action by slapping a stream sticker types exclamation stickers to learn how. Wonder. Let's see. I don't even know what that is. I never see that. St type stickers. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh, Lone Jedi did it just as I did it. All right, let's see if I can get some cut here. Okay, so I'm gonna back my harvester off. So once you get, once you get up here, just 
you take the outside. Okay, so the guy just he just dumped. I'm hoping that the offloading auger wagons aren't in the way. Is there a way Let to um, make it so that the semi gets uh, like 90% full or something like so? At least it looks like it's totally full when it goes up empty. Yeah. It's set at 30 right now because we were testing. Yeah. And once we make sure that this, I mean, we know that offload. But yeah, that freaking auger wagon. God damn it. All right. This is going to. So the auger wagon is, yeah, we need to move that into a different spot then, right? No, I just need to make it not be a two-way path because they're trying to go into that point both directions. And so that's throwing it off. We need them to go. It needs to be one way. I see. And, and right we have now, another, I have a one way going the other side? No, just a one way through to the waypoint and then back out to the main route. Okay. Hey, you know more than that get... about me than I do, but once I'm trying to watch this... you. <laughs> so the semi should be going. So if you put your pipe out, so once you get up there where you're at, now switch to the outside lane and go around the outside. Yeah. And then let me just fix this real quick. Like I said, if you put your pipe out right now, he should that should that should send a call to the guy that's offloading and he should come off with it. Alright, we'll try it. I'm only 30% full right now, so we'll yeah, see. But if I would it works. do it early. I would definitely do it early because otherwise you'll be waiting by the time he gets caught up to you. Is he moving? Oh wait, you gotta go wait, go into auto drive, stop for a second, go into auto drive. Okay. And make sure that you're you got the little next to the, the power button, it's got the little road symbol. Yep. And set it to BK auger weight. BK auger weight. Okay. Yep. Big kahuna. I was wondering, yeah, I was wondering how you got that other second thing set up on there. Because I haven't clicked on any of these buttons yet. So, this should be all set right here. Yep, he's on his way right now. I just watched him take off. All right, let's see if I'll wait up for him and see if he... Or I'll keep going. I'll keep going. He'll make it around the trees. Hopefully. And I got, I got both of our augers over here, so there should be two running at a time. I had to put the the pipe back in, in to make this corner here. So it's got a tree sitting here. All right. Yeah, we might have to get rid of a couple of these trees here, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, I'll save that for later on. Is he still on the move? Uh, I can't see him. Right now. Well, that's a bummer. He had to take another day off work for this, though. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, Terry here he comes. About two years ago to replace the, the thing because the board went out. It was like two years ago, and then I, I just bought the board off eBay and I got it for like a hundred bucks. It was used, mm -hmm. and I put it in myself, and it lasted almost two years. It doesn't seem like a long time considering. Well, it was factor. Right? It was used. Oh, it's true. It was used. So he's and driving right behind was, me, not like alongside me. Yeah, because. He's probably waiting for your fill level to get somewhere. So that's there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> All right, I'm at 85 percent right now. I think if you stop, he might come and 
I think he's trying to stay on the field. So here, let me show you something. So stop for just one second. Yep. Um, oh wait, now he's backing up. Put your put put your pipe in, and then back up, and move. So I watched course play do this. What course play does is he's supposed to stay on the field, so he's not supposed to drive off the field when he's offloading you. So no, back up first. Yeah, back up, and then, and then no, cut cut a path in to the second headland from the first headland. Oh wait, he's moving though. I just moved. I just moved over and. Oh wait, now he's taking yeah. off. Fucker. So what they do is is so you're you're in your first headland, you back up. And then you cut into the second headland and stop and wait. He'll drive up right next to you and offload. Okay. He does. He so the reason they do that is if you have crop destruction on. Yeah. So what you're the, what you're trying to do is you're trying to cut your own path so you're not destroying crops. But you kind of do it like a like a turn lane, like a like a freeway exit. Yeah. Make sure you're making a freeway exit. And then once he offloads you. No, you gotta leave your pipe out. Yeah, I thought well, I stopped and then he stopped right there. He put his now he's now he took his tarp back off. Let's see if he moves up next to me now. I figured it'd reset if I pull the pipe in and pull it back out. So he's pulling up next to me. Nice. And I I would suggest not driving, especially with these AI guys, because you're not on you're not running a course play course since you're driving manually. I would suggest waiting, okay. unless you're using VCA. I I wouldn't I wouldn't have him try to drive alongside you. Okay. But at least he's offloading. You're empty. Let's see if he oh, goes yeah. in and the empties now, or goes in empties into the, into the. I and he should empty into the back bunk first, and then after that's full, they should start emptying into the front bunk. And actually, while you're doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go change our fill level on the truck. All right. So he's my my harvester's empty, and he ain't moving. Okay. I jumped into. No, he's not going to. He's not going to until he hits his fill level. Oh shoot. Okay. So yeah. then I thought I thought I was gonna ride with him to see if he would actually go over to him. No, he's not gonna go over there until his fill levels hit. All right. Oh wait, no, it's. I guess mine was still empty. In. Why? Is it, it's a seven percent, but that thing don't even look like it has barely enough in it. Speed, offset, unload fill level. We're gonna set that to. We'll set it to ninety-five percent. So the truck. If you're still offloading, it can get to 100, but he's not going to wait for you to get to 100. If you get him to 95, he's going to take off. Yeah, yeah. Because chances are, if if you offload him to 95, then you may still be sitting there with a full auger wagon, and now you got to wait for you know him to come back before you can offload. So. Right. Now, will the other guy come? If that guy is empty, and will the other guy come in and offload me? Well, he's gonna offload me first. Oh, okay. Because I got my pipe out. Oh, I didn't know if you. I didn't know you were you were cutting right now. This is exciting. I'm excited for this. I know it took you a little bit to figure out how to do it, but it's gonna make it look way cooler once we get this rolling. So I can turn off the auto drive thing or just X out on it, right? I don't have to leave it on the screen, yeah. right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can hide it. <clears throat> yeah, I think I really jacked up my camera here. I don't know what the hell. I, I, so I was trying to go through some of the scenes and I had so many extra scenes from ones that I was trying to like change things on the stream that I wasn't I didn't end up using so I deleted a couple of them and I think there was there was two cameras one one was camera one and then one was this camera and then we had a green screen scene and I know I deleted one of the cameras and I think I think that had something on it because I had to readjust stuff and it still don't look right. And my other problem is, is I'm running out of freaking plugs. I got 
I got one six plug adapter that's um, that I'm using and that's plugged into the wall and then it go it's like it's got like a six foot cord on it but so it's got six plugs to it so I have that going towards my desk and then I have another six plug adapter plugged into that and both of them are are almost full because of the way some of these plugs are you know they got that like little charger type thing on it and they'll only fit one way on the um, six plug adapter and mm -hmm. so it's taken up like two spots two plugs because I can't fit another plug next to it so I need to get I need to go and get like a, a better um, adapter I guess for the plug like I need something like a strip like a strip plug where it has six of them in a row but you can turn them a different way turn the adapter a different way so like if the plug needs to be turned left or right I, I think I've seen them before um, and this way I can plug different things next to each other that I can't plug in right now because of the way they're sitting on the adapt you know the six six plug adapter thing I don't know I, I, I know what I I'm, I'm kind of looking at something I, I figure if I can get a longer strip I can mount it right to the back of the desk and then plug everything into it because it's not that much I mean these TVs can't be using that much power the monitors and then um, you know the stream deck and um, the hub the USB hub I have the camera well the camera is a USB but I don't know I, I think that would be all right I just want to cause an overload in the damn thing uh oh I gotta put my pipe out I don't know if he'll come across the field or not but I'm gonna do like you said I'll cut up a small little spot well, you have to be on the field. Your pipe has to be on yeah, the field. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm to offload on the field. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like what I did the last time and just go next to it, cut a little spot, and then wait. So what you do is you back straight up in the thing you already cut, because right now you would be destroying crops. What you just did would be destroying crops. If we had crop destruction turned on. So in the real world, you would back up in the path you just cut and then cut like a an exit lane like off the highway you oh, know how like it, you make a right hand turn on there yeah That's what you're saying. yes yeah so that you don't destroy crops okay. and i mean it's like i said we don't have crop destruction on so it's no big deal but i was watching the course play drivers do it and it was really cool because they do they when they're full they back up and then they cut that that path and then when they're done they cut back into where they were i see what you're saying and continue on yeah, it's it's really cool. So it like looks like he passed you. Up, he's coming to me then. Looks like he's yeah, coming. Yeah, see, around. he's trying to drive around the outside of the field and not drive over the crops. Yep. Okay. But he will drive over them. It's just we we don't want him to. Right. We yeah, want no, it to be more realistic. Yeah. No, that's cool. I see what you're saying now. So I would just back up straight where I'm at. Cut a little bit to the uh, the right of me. Yeah, just and then yeah, just, you know, like just some off the field here, not back into it, and yeah. then cut up straight. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, and then you'll just have that little whoop to do. But now, after you get your second headland done, it won't matter because now he'll have a whole a whole row. Like right now, yeah. I don't have to do that because you've cut the first headland, and right. I'm in the position <clears throat> where you would be by doing what we just discussed. Yep. Yep. So after this, this we shouldn't have to worry about it. And then the only thing that you'll worry about is like going, if we do, if we don't just continue doing, you know, headlands or a racetrack or whatever you want to call it, um, then if your pipes over the crops, he's not going to come and unload it because he doesn't want to drive on the crops. Well, he's driving on the crops right now. I bastard. know. So he passed me up. He didn't pull up next to me. Uh, he's trying to. <clears throat> Where are you going, son bitch? He's 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 continuing down the crop. He's ruined everything. Oh wait, now he's gonna back up. Well, he he untarped. Now he's now what the fuck is he doing? Come on. 
He's coming back at me. Will he pull underneath me, or is he going to turn around again and come the right way? Nah, he's probably going to go the wrong direction. He's turning around again. Oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah, he's right in front of me. Yeah. Slow down, Ricky. <laughs> uh, come on, pull up. Do I have to have my engine started or something? Yeah, you got to be running. Oh, now the other guy is coming, too. Yeah, I called him. Oh, shit, he's coming right into me. Well, now the guy tarped back up. Oh, they're trying to hit each other. I'm gonna... These guys, they've been drinking already. I'm only on my first uh, um, <laughs> Honor Palmer. Oh, and maybe I gotta have my fucking thing on. No, he's going. He's going. He's well, going. he's not coming behind me. Come on. Ah, you little bitch. I'm at 100%. I can't cut no more. Let me pull the pipe in and then pull it back out. My guy's drunk. Oh, he's gonna maybe swing Mine's around. Working. Maybe he's swinging around again. Let's see if it works. Why is it? Damn, timers are freaking going off crazy now. Come on. Do your job and do it right. Finally. Yay, he's working. It, it'll be better once we get the first row done, like you said. But I'm almost thinking we should have these guys load all the way 100%. Well, at least 70%. I don't, know what the, I don't know what they're set to right now. I haven't looked at that yet. I'm going around you. I'm taking the inside lane now. All right. I'm at 19% right now. All right, buddy. Thank you. Get out of my way. Come on, move. Uh, he won't move because he's not full. You gotta put your here. Let me see if I can call him. Put your pipe out. If he's sitting someplace you don't want him, put your pipe out. Okay. And then he'll move out of the way. He should. I'm leaving corn now. All right, so now, I should, well, now he's sitting in the damn aisle. Let's, let's see if I can... I'll put my now pipe put your, back in. When you, Yeah, when you get him out of your way, then put your pipe in. Okay. I mean, I think this is pretty cool. It's just working out these little kinks and figuring out the, the right process on it. <clears throat> See, I thought that they would go back to the waiting spot. Oh no, that oh. would be that would be very inefficient. I guess I could put my my cruise control on. Now I might not be getting a full header cut on this because we're trying to just see if I can. I'm just trying to see if I can get a headland down you know it doesn't even necessarily be a full head so I don't want to miss anything ah you pisser freaking mess two little corn cobs Cut it too close.
I wonder if I can uh, have to wait till I get a straight away here. Where is the settings at? That harvester's so loud. Well, other than your heater and all that, is things other than that, everything going okay? Um, still not getting, my eye doesn't feel like it's getting any better. I still can't see out of it. Really? And now <clears throat> my wife's been looking up stuff. That's what she does. She's always looking. Up. She's like, oh, it could take up to six to eight weeks, they said. Yeah. I'm still hold out hope, I guess. But I, I have a hard time seeing anything anymore. Like, it's... I can't read anything on my screen right now. Oh, jeez. Are you feeling any better, at least? I mean, I'm starting to feel better, but I just went to the chiropractor yesterday, and my back's been aching. It just, this feels like I got the world's dumping on me right now, it feels like. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. I wonder if he'll... Well, oh, he won't empty going the wrong way. Uh, he, he stopped like he was looking like he was going to empty empty me out, and then he oh. turned around. Is that my guy or your guy? I think it was your guy, but I'm not sure anymore. They all look the same. All I know is I got my pipe out like a champ, and I don't see anybody coming. Oh, what song this is? Oh, it's from. Can't remember. Crap! I'm at a hundred percent. Oh, he's coming up on me now. I want to see him offload into the semi. Come on, 97% un offload me, buddy. Come on, pull up. He's sitting there right behind me and took off the tarp, but he, let's see, now he might be pulling up. Come on, stop. Stop. Ah, you bitch. He pulled off to the right and now he just looks like he's turning around again. Yeah, because he's got to be lined up in order to do it. So. Well, he was he's right. not lined up. <clears throat> he was right behind me. But Look like he was lined up. But if he pulls up and you're not offloading, he's not lined up. So he's got to, he's got to turn around and get lined up. Oh, bastard! I'm not really sure get your job done right. That. Come on, offload me. He's lining up. He's slowly pulling up and then he stops. He stopped. Nice. Yeah, he'll keep going. No, now he's backing up. Where the hell are you going, buddy? Come on, stop. 
Stop. <laughs> Fucker. Ah. If you want him to stop, if you want him to stop, put your pipe in. Well, Remember, I'm... put your pipe in, and then he's not coming for you. If you put your pipe in, then no. go get lined up over the top of him, and then put it back out. He'll stay right there, and you'll offload. Well, I, I had the pipe out. He was sitting behind me, and then he stopped, and he didn't pull up but next to me. And then he right. Then... So, so then put your pipe in. So when you move, he doesn't move. Because if your pipe's out, he's constantly trying to pathfind to figure out how to get to you. So if I'm sitting here so right he... here off to the side, he has plenty of room to pull up next to me. He should pull off and get offload me. He's he turning should. it around again. But this is like what he did last time. He pulled up and he stopped short of the pipe and then just stopped. Like right here, see? And I'm far, far enough in where he should be able to pull up next to me. So if he, now he's stopped. He's not moving. Put your pipe in. All right. Now back up to where you're going to offload into him and then put your pipe back out and you'll offload. But leave your pipe in while you're moving, because if you move with your pipe out, he's going to start moving. I thought he was he should be pulling up right next to me. Like I gave him plenty of room. I'm in the second lane. I mean It can only do what it can do. It's I mean it's doing a lot of calculations to try to figure out where it needs to be, so it Kinda does make sense. Don't move, buddy. So I just put it in and then put it back out again real quick and now he's now he's taking off on me. Fucker. I'm gonna fire this guy. I am. I'm gonna fire him. And I ain't had my first drink in yet. Like, I'm in the second row. He should be pulling up right next to me in the first row and unloading me. Yeah, he should. I, I managed to get like 30% 30 per, 30 off offloaded and then he took off again he started taking off on me hmm. i know that's what i said hmm. all right now i'm in the third headland row and i'm going to put the pipe out he should start pulling up next to me well, they they will drive next to us while we're harvesting too, right? Yeah, but I wouldn't do that unless you're using the VCA and driving perfectly straight, because otherwise they're going to struggle. Oh. Because they're adjusting to every little turn of the wheel you make. So if I'm let me see, I'm just going to stop right here. He should pull up next to me and offload me. He's got plenty of room. I don't even know where my guy is. So he pulled up oh, next to me, I'm offloading. Maybe I should turn on the, the VCA then and do a full row. Hey, I'm not totally empty and he's backing up on me. Will he offload me to only 20%? I don't know. My guys do the same thing. Let's hop in here for just a second. I'm not sure what he's doing. Settings. Um, core speed. Turn that down. Pipe offset. Distance to combine. Unload fill level. All right, let me see. I'm going to try to drive a straight line, see if he follows me. Yeah, 
It's something in the comma. <clears throat> it took me down to about 25%. Recall level 60. All right, I'm just going to keep going straight. Oh. I'm empty. He got me to about 25 and he started taking off again. We'll see once I get this uh, row done and come back on it. I'm gonna be full by then and see if he'll pull up next to me. Probably should put my pipe out now. Well, I managed to stay up 24 hours again yesterday. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, she's like, you got to be crazy. She goes, why do, you, why do you keep staying up 24 hours? I'm like, well, I want to stay up and spend time with you. You know, I mean, freaking don't see as much, you know, during the week because I go to bed so early. And and then she complains. <laughs> Not complaining, but she's just like, she's like, why do you keep doing this? She's like, I'm like, well, because I was hoping to sleep in today and then freaking... And then um, go get my hair cut and all that, and then just be able to come back and get a few things done. I managed, like I said, I managed to get a couple things done this morning on the stream, and did some. I fixed some of my panels on Twitch, and got a couple things done. Just ah, you what little. You he ran into me. I would stop. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to let him go around me. Now he should come back around and pull up next to me now. Because we got plenty of room for him. Nice. There you go, buddy. So you're right. It's got to be with the vehicle control add-on that we have to be doing a perfectly straight line. Yeah, that makes it so where he can actually follow you. Yeah. See, now this is perfect. Let's get, let's get the, oh, not this one. I'm going to get this one on. HUD visibility on, HUD off. Let's get the screen thing off. That's one thing I forgot to do. I was supposed to put some new pictures in the, my starting soon screen. Ah, oh, he stopped just uh, taking a picture, fucker. Oh, he might be full. Now, he looked like he got plenty of room still.
I was just about empty though. But he was keeping up to me where as I'm as I'm harvesting I couldn't like it wasn't going up in my harvester because it was offloading at the same time. I wish I could get that working though. I'm in windowed mode and it shouldn't take off the game sounds when I'm in the other screen. Yeah, mine does too. I don't know why. And it, it does, like in, in American Truck Simulator or Farm Sim, it wasn't doing that. But it's in this game, it, even in windowed mode, it won't let me do it. Uh, let's see if I can get that on Discord capture. There you go. But it's... How did the picture get jacked up again? Shouldn't. We're in the same channel. I know. I gotta make sure that I have uh, show show non-participating. I mean, it's a little bit better. I still gotta fix it. this guy's doing. Yeah, your guy was sitting at the one part of the field there when I made the first turn. Trying to see if I can go underneath the combine and look underneath there while it's working, but I can't do it. It's turning around. I think I might have to stop after this row because I can't go back the other way. He won't be able to offload me. Come on, pull up next to me. Why is he doing that? I'm like almost at 20% and then he off east. Then he, he freaking starts backing up or something. Now I, I turn, I put the pipe in then put it back out and he's not untarping. So it's also possible because we have two of these guys and two harvesters that they're, they're getting mixed signals. <laughs> yeah, they are. He's smoking that wacky so, tobacco all night. What we might need to do is put two different weight points for the auger. We should maybe do a BK auger weight one and a BK auger weight two. Mm -hmm. That way those auger wagons will be specifically assigned to e that, either you or me. Right. Which we could do that. It wouldn't take much. But you don't have to worry about it now though. I mean, we got them least working, I'll so just, that's good. I'll just put one in front of the other. I'll just go back and, and then what you do is you would change your auger cart to go to B BK auger weight one and then I can set mine to BK auger weight two and then well, you do the same thing set, set yours set yours to one if you do that because 
since my tra- uh, my harvester is number two, might as well keep the numbers together. Okay. That'll make it a yeah. little easier. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Probably gonna just go grab my pickup truck and do it. I think it'll be the easiest way to do it real quick. I gotta, this thing's annoying me. That stupid timer again. I had them timers set up and now they're just going off like crazy. That was Stream Labs, I think. Stream Elements. I don't get it, like. Where's the dashboard at? It's like sometimes you can't even get some of these features to work unless you have it opened all the way. There's a full screen thing. Stream tools. Chatbot. Timers. One set okay. at 20, 15 minutes, one set at 45 minutes. Subscribe, don't forget. So 15 minute intervals, I need to change that. Oh, our truck's going. Is he? Oh man. Yeah. Somebody probably, just took off, so someone offloaded into him. They Probably the guy that offloaded me. So every, let's try it every, every. Okay. So now there's a BK auger weight one and a BK auger weight two. Two. Okay. So set, set your combine to BK auger weight two. And I will set mine BK, BK auger, auger weight, weight one. But you got to do that with your grain cart too. Your grain cart needs to be set. Where it says BK auger, well, it's probably to say something different now because I deleted. I don't don't have to. Do I have to get in the green cart then? Yes, you do. All right, so let's hit this one. Turn it on. Oh wait, why is mine folding up? Oh shit! Wait, you're 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 on the wrong thing. That should be. You need to have that look at like the road. That needs to be the road when you're in the combine. The little next to the power button, you got it into deliver. You need to put it in road on the wrong setting. This one here? Yeah, click that until it looks like a road. This one, okay. And put um, that as BK Auger Way 2. No, I think we were right yes. the other way. No, it needs to be that. In the, in the combine, it needs to be that. In okay. the auger wagon, it needs to be a combine, the picture of a combine. So what does mine need to be auger weight two? Yes. No, mine needs to be, is it auger weight two? Yes, now you need to get into the auger wagon and okay. change its weight point to be auger weight two. Oh, fuck. Just get in the damn map. Run over there, I ain't running over there. All right, so my guy is, how do I know which one my guy is then? Um, just pick one. It doesn't matter. You haven't done it to yours then? Well, the point that mine was on, mine's sitting back here, so you're not going to... Yours is on a small part it. of the field? Yeah. Where the hell did my guy go? Fucking map is doing it again. God, this pissed me off. Do something for me. While you're in the map, yeah. wiggle one of your joysticks. Wiggle a joystick. And see if the map. So I wiggled faster. my, I wiggled my left joystick. Let's see if. And it's. Now move it back the other way. Well, well I'm it's just only moving. Going one way. I'm, yeah, it's only going to the left, and it's these sliders. Now move your so if I move this, again. if I move the slider. I don't think it's your sliders. It's not your sliders. It's your joystick. So now if I I moved I moved the slider into the middle, but I don't know. Like I I just want to get rid of these stupid sliders. 
Like, I don't know if there's a way... I'd have to tear it apart and unplug the damn slider part. Now it's staying s still. I don't understand. I mean, I have the same joysticks. I know. And mine are unbound, and mine mine used to do that. My, in fact, mine used to, in the game, my guy would constantly look up at the sky. Right, I don't know what vehicle I just jumped into, so I think it's... I think it's this other one right here that I need to jump into. So jump in this one and put auger weight. Not in the semi. No, I'm not. Not in the semi. I'm not. So I need to go onto the. I'm watching your stream and it's a little delayed. Yeah, so combine and then semi. auger weight two. Right. Don't don't change the combine. Yeah. The com yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm in this. I'm in the. Like I said, I'm watching your stream, so I hear you talking and you're saying everything before I see it on the screen. So I'm seeing you, yeah, your yeah, mouse delayed. Fine. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in the auger, and he's already yeah, empty, or close to empty. So now I should be able to jump out of him, right? He's yep. all set. I don't. I, the button's clicked for to turn it on. Yep, you And did. so we're all good on that. So now I just got to get back in. In my combine. When you get back into your combine, unless you see red writing in auto drive, you're good. Okay. Nope, I don't. So you're good. All right. So let's basically get... that's that's what that's what ties the offloader to your combine is the weight point. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's shut this thing down for a second. I gotta change it. this. This timer is just driving me nuts. Interval time. I have it set for. Let's save this. I'm going to change it to 30 minutes. The other one's at 45 minutes. Sis Discord's at 60. YouTube's at. Let's change that one to. Um, 35 minutes, maybe. I'm just like, it, it's aggravating me that these timers are showing up so much on my stream now. Like, I got them working so they're at least doing something more than what they were, but now they're going too I think much. because your stream stickers are putting messages in the chats. E each one of those is a line, and it counts it as a line. That's why your timers keep ticking. Uh, so do I got to change the line now? I, I would mean, change the number of lines. I would set it up higher. If yeah, you're gonna it, have the stream elements thing is doing it. I th I think what the prob what the issue was before is like there's not many people that there's not that many people that have been chatting in the stream. So I was I was more relying on the I was relying more on the you know every 45 minutes that one of the timers would sh would run off you know or whatever set off, but if if the stream stickers are going to go off and set it off, then I need to change, like you said, change all of them. How many lines do you think I should put it at? It just depends. I mean, I would probably count how many lines before it goes off the screen, so that way you don't see those messages at least, you know, twice in the same hour. chat panel. Yeah. Well, even in an hour. Um... I figure if most of the time, how long do you stream? You stream about two, maybe two and a half hours tops. Yeah, yep. So how many times do you want to see that message in your stream? I mean, I would I would say maybe once or twice. So then I would set it every Maybe hour. the follow button a little bit or more. Or every maybe set it every 45 minutes or something. So, so, yeah, I have it at... Well, I have the follow button at 30 minutes, but then um, the chat lines, I should set that up higher though right um oh. or just set it to 45 minutes and say you don't care about the chat lines because that way it'll play every 45 minutes regardless of who's in chat yeah okay so i see you're saying if you turn if i hear it, just click on online interval minutes 30 minutes it should only go on so every 30 minutes every half hour it should yeah it should do it and if it, Ooh, my guy's going to offload. If it still goes more than, if it goes too much, then I can always change it again. But I don't want to rely on the chat lines because, like you said, either if I were playing pretzel rocks or whatever, I don't want it to keep going off like every two seconds. And then, 
Well, it's still not going to go off. It's going to still wait your time in. So what the chat lines does, basically it says, I want you to go off every 30 minutes, but only if X number of chat lines have gone. So like if you say every 30 minutes, it's just going to go off every 30 minutes. But if you say every 30 minutes and there's got to be at least 10 lines of chat, if you only have six lines of chat, it won't go off at 30 minutes. It'll wait until it gets to that number to of 10. It's got to it's got to meet both criteria. Yeah. It's got to meet both your time and your lines of chat. OK. So you can kind of tailor it how you want. I think it's kind of based off of like how how busy your chat is. Like if you had say you had hundreds of people in here and the chat was going nuts, then you could say, hey, I want you to play it every five minutes, but only after 30 60 lines of chat. Yeah, 60. You yeah, know, something saying. like that, something like that. And then that way it would keep it from being too know, cluttered, real busy. Yeah. Yeah. I do like having these this extra time. monitor though. I just got to figure out how I want to put them. I, I need to adjust some things on the desk, whether I move the microphone and some other things out of my way. And I don't have that little it's just teeny so light on. It's so much nicer being able to see, like, have a, a screen dedicated to like your stream stuff. Like, yeah, you could have your chat up on there. You could have OBS up there. You know, whatever you want. Like, I have Discord on one. I have actually your stream going on another. And then I have my OBS on the TV, and then the games in the middle monitor. Yeah. Which eventually, I think I want to make it to where my TV is what my game goes on. That's how I have mine I set up. To, and my TV is like sitting. It's like I can reach out and touch it with my right arm if I reach out. See my it's right here off to the right. Of me. My TV is like, you know, it's a seventy-inch TV. It's on the freaking wall in front of me, but it's like probably about eight feet in front of me. And then the desk is there, and then, the, but the way I'm looking at it right now, like the secondary monitors are like basically below the TV, the way out because of how far back I am. Right. Like I want to move it closer to the TV because even though it's 70 inches, I mean my eyes suck. Even with these glasses, I'm supposed to get uh, go back to the eye doctor on the the ninth. So, uh, let's see if my prescription's changed. I actually haven't gone in two years, so probably has changed. And, and you know, hopefully, I'll get some new lenses that'll be a little bit better. I want to get something with uh, nighttime uh, with the headlights and stuff. I think there's something you can add on with them because the headlights are really starting to bother me at night. Do you do the transition lens that turn dark when you're out? In no, the sun? no, I'm not going to get that. I mean, I would love well, I to, got, but it's I, too much money. I got glasses a while ago. And, like, I didn't need... They told me I had 20-20 vision, but they prescribed me distance driving glasses. Mm -hmm. And so I I did get the transition because I wore them outside when I was at, like, my kids' sporting events and stuff like that so that I could see better distances. But my distance viewing is actually good. It's my close-up that I can't do now. Yeah, see, mine is uh, the far away is not good so what did you did you get rid of that uh big electrical pole or something no there was a rock there oh there was a rock at this one so we could actually yeah, so harvest this and make this part of the field now yes. or can we yes okay well i'll have to remember that when i from harvesting later on i'll uh i'll harvest that out and make it so it's all part of the field do you want to do corn again on this field oh i don't know I just hope my guy's coming back to offload me because I'm about full. My guy's still sitting by the semi. Is Even the semi though I got my... full? No, it's empty. And, my... and I'm full almost. I'm at 90. Let's... I'm going to go check, see what they're doing. So I'm in my guy. Why ain't he moving? I need to program a button for the, put up that, uh, the, oh, I'm not, oh, you're in it. Are you in my Wait, truck? oh, he, he pulled up there. Here, do this. Can I pull forward? Are you in it? Yeah, get, yeah, hop out for a second. I don't want to hop out. 
he got stuck or something. So he pulled up to that wait point when the semi wasn't there. So that might be an issue having two guys. I see. I didn't. I didn't think you were gonna be here today, so that's why I was planning on doing harvesting. I didn't. If I would have known you were off, I would have. See, my guy's. You know. My guy's gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, so the semi's going so back around. All right. Let's see here. Look at this. Corner speed pipe off this. Unload fill level. Field as it receive. Avoid through. Okay, I don't like that. Look ahead distance. Maximum detour. If silo empty is wait, let's tell that to drive on. Okay, that didn't do anything. I'm going to get to 100 and then I'm going to leave the truck where it's at so he can offload me. I'm going to run upstairs real quick. So I just told Auto Drive to use folders, so we'll be able to make like a big Kahuna folder and put all the routes in there for that. Oh boy. I'll have to figure out how to do the folders again because I can't remember how to. I've kept losing track where the hell that damn folder was. I can, I'm can. i managing to get the auto drive up. <laughs> now if we got to go to folders, I might be in trouble. Alright, where's my guy at? I'm at 98%. I don't see certain combines on there sometimes. Did somebody magically delete them? Oh no, that's... I wonder if... Wait... Yeah, I don't know. You should do a stream just teaching people how to do the course play. Because I'd watch the that whole was... damn thing. <laughs> That was my plan for the other night. Because I, I really would like to, to learn this. this. I up. hate relying on you. And I hate that you're doing all this stuff. And I can't really help because I don't understand it. Yeah, that was that was my plan. That was the whole get and learn with Ricky stream. That I was going to teach everyone how to do this offloading. And it like failed miserably. Where is my guy at? I'm running clear over my combine. Is he empty or something? Because I can't see him. I wonder if oh, it's because... Oh, your guys... Oh, because I probably left the engine running. That's probably why. So it probably thinks it's in use and won't let me jump into it. Where's your guy? Where's, like, where's the other... Why is he way over at the shop? What stop? Oh, it's the semi. So the semi's moving over there. And maybe my guy's coming to me right now. Yeah, it looks like he's coming now. I'm like, bitch, I'm at 100%, man. I'm burning fuel. I don't know where mine is. I'm going to see if he, if, he, if he turns around and freaking offloads me. I'm going to run upstairs real quick because I, I got to let... I should really let the dog out. I should be getting a call here anytime soon for my damn part. I want to go get Is it like at and FedEx or something? No, it's at the uh, Robin's Eating and Air. Oh. I would just call them half the time they freaking... No, I went in there. They are, they've been actually really awesome. In fact, the guy, one of the, the guys down there, like I went, you know, normally they'd be like, no, we're not going to help you. We'll send a technician out. But this guy sat there and talked me through testing a bunch of parts and doing this and doing that and he was very very helpful so I don't want to yeah I, I don't, don't want to piss him off 
Yeah. Come on, bitch. Why does he keep moving? I have it out. Come on, buddy. And he fucking... He starts offloading, and then he starts taking off on me. I want him just to I stay there so I can offload thing. everything. Maybe because this little green spot, that's why it won't pull up next to me. Alright, I'm gonna sit right here and see if he pulls up. Come on, bitch. I'm gonna drive back to the spot and go as straight as I can. You don't have a problem driving over that little patch of grass. What the fuck is he doing? Come on, buddy, I'm full. Come get me. I know this is what this guy stopped right here behind me. He's in line. He just won't offload me. <laughs> like, he's trying to take off. I'm just gonna keep driving forward and backwards, make him offload me. <laughs> Look at this. He's fucking backing up on me as I'm trying to offload. I don't know why this guy stopped. I gotta double check, maybe. Something's not jiving. Did our semi make it back? Um. He's probably stuck somewhere too now. Uh, he's driving around. He's Is driving he? around the shop somewhere. He's not offloaded yet. Oh, he's not? No, he's he's swinging back around in the shop area. I'm in him right now. Let's see what he does. Six miles an hour, man. This guy's really trying to milk the system. The untarped. Slowly creeping up to the scale. He's opening the front part. Hey, he only dumped a little bit and then it moved. Wait, let's see. Yeah, he dumped just a teeny little bit and then moved off it again. He didn't even dump anything really. But I saw the... Oh, the, the the bottom of the bunk, the front bunk, open up and it started like emptying, and then he and then he took off again. What is going on? And he's freaking out. Well, now he's gonna turn around. I think that's probably what he did the other time. He keeps doing circles. Cause he did. It's still showing him at a hundred percent. But I did see the front part of the trailer open up, and it looked like it was starting to dump, and then he took off again. Let me hop in that truck for a second. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs real quick and and uh, let the dog out real quick. So I'll be a couple minutes, and then I'll uh, I'll be back here. So I'll put it on here so at least your screen's bigger. They can see what you're doing.
Man, oh man, what a pain in the A. Mm -hmm. she, w she was looking like she wanted to go, and then all of a sudden, a neighbor next door pulls up, and she wants to go and play with them. I'm like, no, I'm trying to drag her to get done with her business, and freaking, I don't know, it gets annoying. I should have did that before I started, but we had just let her out, you know, before I left to go get a haircut, so I figured well, it should be good for a couple hours. <sighs> Dang dogs. I know, they're worse than kids. I mean, she's a really good dog, too. It's just, I mean, it's just frustrating when, like, she was looking like she was going to go, and then damn neighbors got to pull up. Are you on the small spot? Oh, yeah, oh, there you are right there. Maybe I'll flip over and do it, go back onto the bigger part of the field then. I think this field's almost done. Maybe not. We got a whole, this whole, <clears throat> a whole other side over here. Yeah, with that new mod that I got, that hide it mod, mm -hmm. we could even get rid of this, these buildings right here and make that all be field if we want. Holy cow. I guess I'm going to do a circle here. These things keep taking off. Once you hit the gas, man, them things will keep going in a circle. All right, let's see. How come I didn't get no signal? I know why it's not working. Line ain't going. Come on. You gotta get your wheel straight. I did. It hit it straight and it's still not. Sh There's the line finally. I think I might do these two short rows so we get around this power pole here. Or whatever you call it. So I went to go get a haircut today, you know, and the girl that, the lady that cuts my hair, her daughter had that brain surgery a couple weeks ago. And she showed me a picture of her daughter's head cut open with the brain sitting there and they had it all numbered with different quadrants, which areas they needed to take out something. And that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Huh. And she had, um, like I figured she was gonna have like a, a shaved head basically. They didn't barely, they didn't shave anything off it. They just like parted her hair and cut away. Oh, that's nice. I know, it's, I, I, like I seen a picture of her. She posted a picture after surgery and like the doctor said that, you know, or the surgeon said that, that she shouldn't, she probably won't talk, be able to talk for like, the first day because of her you know brain being swollen from the surgery and then the second day she might be able to say a few words or whatever and then the third day it should get a lot better she was talking the day of she talked the entire day of after the surgery she was in intensive care for that first day and then after that she was supposed to it happened on a saturday and she was supposed to be there till monday she left on sunday how old the daughter? Um, I want to say she's in her late 20s. Oh, still pretty young. Yeah. But I guess she's doing good. She just can't lift, like, she's got a newborn, and the new she can't lift the newborn because of, you know, she's on weight restrictions and stuff like that, but everything else she's able to do. she just got to be careful not to, you know, bang her head, I guess. Oh, but, um, I was really surprised, man. I was like, man. I 
I, I think they're still waiting on uh, pathology or whatever to confirm whether it's non-cancerous because they believed it to be non-cancerous tumor because it hasn't grown in like uh, six months or something like that but they're waiting for the toxicology or the whatever the results on all that to find out if they're going to have to have another surgery or not but glad she's doing good I mean it's just man what a scary looking uh, surgery I'm gonna get this row here. Ooh, I think I just barely made that. Just barely made it around the power line here. Get back over in the first line. I was debating whether I was gonna do Snow Runner today too, and I'm like, I was so excited to try this. I'm like try see if they would offload it and all that but I just said nah, I'm gonna do I'll do this today maybe I'll bring a pull-up snow runner tomorrow You're quiet today. Yeah. Um, Got a lot hasn't been mind. good. Hasn't been. Hasn't been a good month. <laughs> yeah. I get that, man. I understand. All right. I'm at 97 percent. I think I'm gonna see if I can make this whole line before I turn around and wait for that guy. Nope, I ain't gonna be kidding. Let me turn around and back up and see if he'll come offload me. He's moving. Uh, I'll be right there. My wife's calling here.
Well, so, so much for having a day to do nothing. Oh yeah, what's oh up? Oh my gosh, man. So my wife calls, she, she wants to make a, I guess apparently she's trying to book an airfare for when we go on our cruise in March with my ma. And she needs our American Express card, which is in her other purse. Now, I don't know if you've ever looked in your wife's purse, but my wife's purse is a freaking joke. And freaking, <laughs> I'm looking through this thing. I'm like, there's like 30 cards in there. Some of them are these stupid, uh, uh, which from the the con or not from the concert uh, from uh, the casino? Like we had a bunch of cards from when we were in Vegas, you know, players' cards or whatever. And yeah. I'm looking through all of them. I finally find the Dis her American Express card, and she's got two of them. One of them's expired like by 2020. And so I'm like, I finally find the right one. So then I give her. A, she wants a picture of it so she can, so she could, she could finish filling out all the paperwork or whatever and and so I sent her to picture start walking downstairs forget the dog inside the bedroom so I go back in open the door <laughs> I come I get the dog out then the wife, my wife says well this card doesn't have our member or our membership number on the American Express card she goes give me the expired one so I take a picture of the expired one now I can't find the expired one in the mess of a purse that I just took it out of <laughs> I'm like, this is ridiculous. I go, it's like 10 minutes. I've been gone already. And I'm like, I, I'm like, I should have took a picture. I should have sent you a picture of what this thing looks like. There's like wrappers, papers, napkins, freaking all kinds of junk in this thing. And she never even uses this purse. And I'm like, why don't you clean this thing out? I'm like, I, like, I don't like going into my wife's purse or any women's purses. Like, my mom would always say, oh, get it out of my purse. I'm like, I'd bring her her purse. I'm not getting anything yeah. out of there. And it's like, it's just, it was a mess. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a neat freak, but I, I, like, when I have time off like this, I am like doing stuff to, like, straightening up stuff. Like, this whole morning, you know, I was fixing stuff in the stream and fixing stuff on OBS. I have a list of stuff that I wanted to fix, you know, and or like the other time, a couple of weeks ago when I was off for a couple of days, I went and took all my all the clothes in my bedroom or in the closet there and, and like tried on every shirt, every pair of pants, anything that didn't fit. I put it in a plastic bag and I, and I took it to like Salvation Army or whatever it is. I forget what they call it and you know just straighten it all up so that I, there's no sense having a bunch of clothes that i can't even fit in or they're really old and my wife is not the same way when she gets free time she just sits there or she does whatever she wants to do and i'm like and then i gotta deal with the mess <laughs> it's like i like having things all kind of in a neat order i don't i'm not like saying everything's perfect but you know at least it, you know, it's so much less clutter. It's to get drive me to drink today, <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't know why this truck is not stopping here. He's starting to tick me off. Which truck? Oh, the the semi still not stopping? Yeah, yeah. It did it the first time, didn't it? I know. I don't know what's happening. Now she's sending me a thank you message. So she must have found it. <laughs> uh, this one should be going to offload weight. Yeah, somehow this got switched. What did? The weight, the weight point got switched. Somehow. Um, the only, uh, well, I switched it yesterday, but you would have. No, I got. It got switched today. Yeah, because like, like we were on that field. Yeah, because when I was 
when I was I was trying to set things up, so I went to that other field where the semi was parked and had it drive over to this field just to see if that everything was, was in working. Your game. Yeah, my game in the save, but I never yeah, but put a save up. I, I already had I already had my game up and running. So yeah, it wouldn't have affected this. What yeah, I was doing. that's what I did yesterday, and then I to you know prior to you tell me you were even online, I went and I started up a multiplayer game and and. And I already had sent the truck over to the field, and I was bringing the combine over when you told me that you were you had a multiplayer game going already. He's driving right through this place, and he's not stopping the way. And the, the reason he wasn't offloading is <clears throat> because we had him set to wheat, not corn, so he wasn't offloading it. Huh. Let's see. Hopefully my other guys unloaded my I think he did. You're still sitting there. I'm coming up behind you right now. This stuff is frustrating. It's, it should be, it shouldn't be this hard. Right. Well, it seemed like they got a lot of settings for that thing. I mean, just looking at when you were flipping through them yesterday or the day before, I'm like, damn. I'm going to stop right here and see if he'll offload me because I'm at 75%. He's coming up behind me. No. What is he doing? This makes zero sense. What's my guy doing? He keeps stopping, like right be behind the, his tractors, but behind my um, boom. And he has plenty of room to pull up next to me. See if we can get him to just drive there. I'm just gonna follow this guy so I can keep fucking emptying. Damn it! Yeah, they're all doing something weird right now. Yeah. Like he's came by and offloaded me a little bit, but he keeps. What's up, Cupid? Women, what they, what can you do with that? Yeah, right? No, it's, I don't know. I Like, my wallet isn't even that bad. And I have, a, like, I, I, if I don't, if, I, if it's a card that I'm not using, I take, I take it out of there. I don't know, I, don't, I just don't understand why she's got so much stuff in there. Well, he offloaded me a little bit. Funny thing is, Cardi will clean my room and stuff, and then I can't find anything. I'm you're like the messy. I'm like the messiest. I know where everything is. So, I mean, it's it's fine if it's a controlled mess, kind of. I guess, or you know where it's at. But for me, like I, even our computer don't me, room. Don't hit me. I'm not. <laughs> even our computer room is, you know, like I, I have my bill stuff all in one little area. And all nice and neat. Anything else is all put away in different little cupboards or whatever in the desk. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, it's a minor thing. It really is. But it's just frustrating when I'm, like, trying to stream. And then the dog won't go to the bathroom when I take her out. Then she calls and I can't find the stupid card. Or I find the card. I have, I find the expired one and the, and the one she needs. And then I lose the expired one somehow. Is she not home? No, she's at work. Then why does she have her purse at home? 
she carries like this small little thing, I guess, that she takes to work. Or her, oh. you know, like she has like, you know, I don't know. Women, I guess, have two pa two purses, I guess. But she, she has one that just has like, it's like one that she'll take out if, if she, it's not even a purse, it's like a satchel. And it just basically has her, her license and that kind of stuff in there. And then the other one is like a regular purse that has like a pocketbook in there with all her, I mean, there's like, there must have been like 20 cards in there. Most of them are like Kohl's and JC Penney's or whatever. And then the other ones are all like all these cards that we get from the casino, like the players cards. And I'm like, I put all them cards in the, in a different spot. Like I'm like, I'm not carrying that around with me all day. I don't plan on going to the casino anytime soon, so why carry it? But she has like everything in there. Papers, napkins. <laughs> you know, that's the funny thing. They got like a little spot for coins. Coins are all over the bottom of the thing. I'm like, never understood why women need two or more purses. I have a wallet what I with my ID and a card and some cash and I'm set. Exactly. I mean, I do have two wallets. I have one wallet that's like a trifold wallet that I carry every day. And then I have like a, just a little billfold one where it has a couple spots for like a couple cards. Like if I go out to eat, I don't want to carry a big ass wallet. I just take my license and my credit card and money and that's it. Like I'm not taking a, my medical card and my any other stupid cards I have in there, like Home Depot card or like I don't carry all that stuff around like going out to eat or something or going out. Let's see if this guy will pick me up now. I think I think he's just freaking out today. This this thing. I mean, he he'll pull up next to me. He'll come up lined up for the the boom, and then he freaking he stops. Yeah, something's really Should I jump back in my? I mean, he wouldn't be following me if he's not attached to my vehicle, though, right? There, I'm at a 99%. I can't go any further. Let's see if he empties me. Now what's this guy doing? Now he's... Oh. Uh. Where is he at now? No. Uh, he's... he's at the scale. Automatic load, unload. Oh, you're in the truck. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, Let's see if my guy pulls back up here. I'm about ready to offload it. My, oh, I can't offload it. The semi's sitting over there. Yeah. He's pulling now up he now, will. and then he's. He's pulling up. He's pulling up. Well, he's let me offload him. Let's see how far he lets me offload until he takes off again. Well, he's looking like he might actually let me offload the whole thing. Thirty percent, twenty percent. Yeah, he let me offload the whole thing. Well, that's a good thing, good sign at least. I just hate that when you're inside the cab of this thing, you can't like see anything. I mean, you can see the side, I guess, but it's. It's really hard to see whether you're going straight unless you have this vehicle guidance on. Let's see what happens here because he, he's been running right through this. Now he'll probably stop. Oh. He's on. No, he, he tarped it back up. 
I have no idea what he's doing. This is crap. Yeah. We are cutting corn, right? Yeah. <laughs> Last I knew. <laughs> I don't know why he won't stop there. Is the other guy in the way of the stopping point? I have no idea. Let's see what happens here. I just set everything back to its default. And now let's go in here. Hey, Cupid, you're not playing any, uh... NHL or whatever it was today. I didn't. I guess I didn't even check to see if anybody was streaming right now. Following. No, it's all women that are streaming right now, except for Modder Paul Scambate. He's on. Scambates. Yeah, he's on. stream earlier but doing house stuff while doing online stuff in my games yeah that's what I did mostly this morning I was trying to fix a bunch of things I still haven't got the camera fixed all the way I tried looking at it but I think I'm jacking it up even more than I'm fixing but I I managed to get some of them stream stickers on there and then I think it was adjusting some of these the uh, the new monitor that I got it took me a second to get that working right because I, for, I forgot that you have to put like when you're in the display part of the computer you have to set the monitors up how they are actually set up in your area and one of them was off a little bit so I couldn't move from one monitor to the other the right way hard thing about streaming is when I'm in a game I do a lot of stuff between games so I like can't get house stuff done and other stuff done if I'm streaming I know that's why I was well I'm I still got to go outside and get the rest of the leaves out there and I want to run this the lawnmower out of fuel so I think that'll run it out there's not much left and then I got to charge up the battery in it and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna put that back in the shed and get the snowblower out at least so that at least then that's ready in case we get some snow here but other than that i really didn't have much planned for today other than playing we managed to get the field done at least so that's good i'll probably start uh running this back and we'll get uh, get a plow out here at least then we don't have to worry about the we don't have to worry about the uh Thing in my job. I need to offload this thing. I might just offload it at the thing. Well, I'll maybe I'll wait. Will he sit there? Yeah, I got him. I think I got him doing it now. All right, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try and empty real quick too with you. Oops. Or is my guy gonna come by over here too? Yeah, your guy will probably come over. I don't even know where he's at. Where is he on the map? Oh, he's he's over by the shop. No, that's the semi. He's over here. Yeah, the sem he's semi over should be unloading. Our guy's over here in, in the, in the so other here field. we're going to find out if this works. Oh, I can't zoom into it. You're in it, probably. I'm in the, yeah, I'm in the semi. Now that he's set to corn, he should have known. Why am I a guy stuck in a tree? Yep. Yeah, so that's the other thing we have to remember to set the crop. Okay. If the crop's not set right, he won't unload. I don't know where my guy is sitting way over here.
He's like all the way at a grass field here. Where's he going? I have no idea. I was, I just was kept, whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking thing just slid all the way out. Oh, he's 90% full, 96% full too. He was probably waiting for the semi to get emptied so he could empty this thing. Well, he's not gonna empty him there. He's gonna empty out here where... Yeah, I don't, I don't know why he took off over here though. Thing just slid out. That's what I, what she said. <laughs> yeah. I have. I think there's. A, I think I have that button. That's what she said. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it just slid out. Not that hole. These nuts. These nuts. All right. Oh, he's unloading your combine. Well, <laughs> that's what this guy was supposed to be for. All right, so I'm gonna turn him back on and jump out, and then I'll move my combine after he empties it all. So now he's moving up to the other grain cart, it looks like. Well, he's gonna stop short. Because you're the other ones in the way? No, because this is the wait point. But the other grain or the other grain cart should pull up after your guy moves out of the way. No, he should pull up right behind him. Let's see what he's doing. He's if he's, he's, he's moving. not full enough. He's How full he, is he? He's ninety seven percent full. Oh, then yeah, he should. Alright, well I'm gonna take this one back to the shop then. Cause there's no sense me Actually, we're not gonna need him anymore. This guy, let's tell him to run on if he can. What a day with these two. Like breaking in new employees. Right? In the ass. Did you see something in the stream stickers that, um, cause it's, it's posting, um, it's posting get into the action by slapping a stream sticker type exclamation stickers in learn how, um, yeah. does your, do you have, is there somewhere on there where it has like a timer for that? How often it sends that message out? I don't. Or did you not make it a moderator? Uh oh, what happened? I don't know if the game froze. Ah, we lost connection. Yeah, Fuck. you did. How are we losing connection? So I just got the speed updated or upgraded to 800 megabits or whatever you call it. Is it megabits? MBPS? Yeah. I shouldn't have lost uh, yours. Your, your thing isn't even on here. On the multiplayer, I think you lost something. Uh, no, I'm watching your stream. Your stream hasn't gone down. Well, n not mine, but well, for you, you mean? Yeah. When I go and click on, I mean, it, join game, it's I'm not showing up. I'm still talking to you on the internet. Now it's showing up. That's that's not it. Neither of those are it. Huh? Neither of those are it. What's that? The games that you were looking at. I'm watching your stream. I didn't see my game up. Well, it just showed it just now. Uh. Oh, this is so much fun today. Oh, man. You sound like you need a break. Need a drink. <laughs> I tend to not drink before I do a big project. <laughs> it never ends well. 
All right, where's my damn freaking harvester now? I know it's around here somewhere. What did the truck take off? Yeah, it was full. Oh, it was? Oh, wow. Yeah, both of us, or both of ours still needed, both of ours still needed, uh, uh, to be emptied. I'm not even gonna wash this thing. I'm gonna park the some bitch. Get into the plow. Now, did we, we sold that big, huge plow, didn't we? Yeah, that was an angled plow, and it's really a pain in the ass. We have a little... Well, they're not little, but they're not huge. We don't have them big, huge ones. I, I had a big, huge plow that I downloaded when I plowed out that field where the... When I combined them three fields. wonder if we should get, go get one. But you would have to get it in your, your game. Well, it's going to take forever to plow that out. I know, but that's kind of fun, right? That's half, I the, mean, that's half the fun. I guess. <laughs> I'm stuck in between us. Come on. Now I'm really stuck. You're gonna make me clean mine, aren't you? Well, I'm cleaning mine. I don't know if it'll reach, actually. Oh, my harvester looking crummy. Now we're doing a uh, power wash simulator. I don't need to walk around the whole thing, right? I can just do one little spot and it cleans the whole thing. Yeah. That's the one thing I think is stupid about this. Wait. Said it reached its sell point, but that. it didn't. It didn't say that it sold anything. Oh, it did. Did it? Oh yeah. Did you get your lights all turned off? I believe no. I did, sir. Oh no. no you, didn't. you gotta be and kidding. And you're not washed. I washed it. No, you didn't. The power no, washers. Washed. The power washer sucks. You're partially washed. Look at how dirty your rims are. <laughs> oh, I forgot the rims. And your ladder. You washed the you washed the head, but you didn't wash the combine. Well, I asked you if if I wash one part of it, will it make all of it? Um, one part of each piece, yeah. Like the combine head oh. is separate from the combine, so you got to wash the combine and the combine. Oh, my bad. All right, let's see if I walk, if I drive behind this or next to this thing, if they'll put their chute out. How do you uncover? Uh, open cover N. I don't think they're gonna unload. No, they're not. <coughs> How come? The weight, because the weight point is right there, and and they're already past it, right? I set it up the way they they showed you to. Oh, my wheel just did something. Weird. Um, because the offload weight point is further up than the truck weight point, which is what they said to do. But it didn't. It's like if the truck leaves and the auger has still got stuff in it, he pulls up further, and it doesn't. Then he won't offload. So that's a problem. That I I think that's a problem. Well, how come if I jump in the tractor, it's not offloading? You got to pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, I had to pull it backwards, I guess. No. No, no, no. Just pull the semi up. Well, I was already in the tractor. Just trying to empty these yeah, things. But, yeah, if you just pull the semi up a little bit, just turn the semi off of its route, 
pull Too it up late. a little bit. Ah, now I have to because I'm backing up in the mine. Yeah, that's Son why I said them. use the semi. <laughs> <laughs> so the truck's behind it. Come on, pull forward. I did start the engine. You gotta, yeah. This thing must not take that much. I mean, well, according to Laura Farms, one of their grain carts will fill up a semi. Yeah. And so I guess it's the same way, same thing. Yeah, these are filling it up. Well, you parked that sucker right on top. Well, I no, I think I, I backed up on it. So now the other guy ain't gonna do it unless they jump into it. Oh, I gotta pull forward now. Oh. Just gotta. Yeah, he's gonna pull up to the waypoint now. I mean, it's gonna fill this truck up pretty quick because it's already almost full. Oh, it is. It is full. Sorry. Yeah, he's taking off. That's why. So back, turn turn the auger wagon tractor off and back it up a little bit because otherwise when the semi comes back, he ain't going to unload. I have to back up the the tractor the now? The auger wagon. Yeah, the auger wagon because he he pulls up. Like if you turn if you turn on the auto drive, you'll see the weight points. And the auger wagon weight point is farther ahead than the semi weight point. So the semi stops and the auger pulls up and unloads to him, which is fine. It's like we need, because we have two augers, it's like we need two semis. Yeah. So that there's always one, you know, in line waiting. Yeah. So that we don't have, yeah, I don't know. It's it's not working the way I think it should. But I don't know. It's like, we we got to probably adjust fill percentages and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's, just, it's not doing what it's supposed to. Be. I mean, it's it's, it's, close. it's getting there. Close it's definitely it. getting there. It's a lot better than what we had two days ago, so yeah. I'm not worried about it. I mean, we like said it, the only bad thing is like if I knew how to do it, I would. I got all damn day. I can mess around with it, try and mess with it. I don't care. I just want to get these things emptied so I can start plowing or something. Or either that or I'll start cutting trees down. I don't know. She's got... I think my wife usually gets home about 3.30, so... Still got about an hour. I don't know if I have to uh, let's see close cover. So it says tip side back. No, change any of that. Don't change any of that. No. All right, so I'll hit. Oh, I pull up and just hit I, and it unloads. Actually, if you would have just hit the play button, he would have went and unloaded and went back to the unload point. Uh, yeah, I know. I just figured I'd do it faster instead of be driving all over the damn place. So it unloaded the back. Do I got to back up no, a little bit? No, you got to hit U to switch bins and then hit I again. Oh, well, you said not to do that, though. I never said not to do that. I, I said hit the power button and let the guy go oh. and unload himself. Where does it say U switches the different bin? It doesn't, it's not popping it up here. Oh, okay. It doesn't. It's, it's stupid. It's one of those things that... I figured out. Yeah, by hitting kind of on accident. Hitting every damn button, just like we figured out X or X or Z turns the, puts the cover on or off. And and well, and the other one of the other ones is X. Z. One of them is Z, I think, and one of them is yeah. N. And... All right, so I'm gonna get him in the right directions, and then I'll hit play, and he should go back to the spot, right? Yeah. But if you don't have the auger wagon backed up enough, you I did. I backed it up. I swung it around and turned it off. We don't have enough places to park our stuff. <clears throat> What's that? So we don't have enough places to park our stuff. And now we we 
I think we might, we might have to do some selling. I think we got too many vehicles, or we're gonna have to put a shed somewhere. Another shed. <laughs> right? I mean, we got only a small little bit of trees, and I could start. We could start plowing out this area. So let's see if I turn this on. It should pull it up. I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. So the auger offload is just a little bit further up than than the truck offload. Yeah. Yep. All right. So he's going to shut off his truck. And that's should... because when the semi's sitting there waiting, the auger pulls up, <clears throat> and as soon as it sees a place that it can dump, it stops and dumps. So now if I hit play on this one, it should pull up and and empty. Yeah. I gotta hit, I gotta start the engine, I guess, first before hit play. No. Oh, well, it wanted me to hit uh, start the engine. No, it wants you to start the engine if you need to drive it. I hit the gas and it shut the engine down. Oh, he's not full enough. 50, uh, oh, fucking bastard. I'm just gonna empty this son of a bitch. I thought he was more full than that. I wonder if that other guy is going to take off now. He's got to be close to being full. Well, he's got to be full because I got 3% still left in the in the auger wagon. We'll pull up to the front bin. I did. I pulled up and filled up both of them. And he started up and took off. off. So I'm going to try and beat him to the... I'm going to try and beat him to the scale thing and empty this thing. Because all I got to do is pull up on the one side, and he's got to still circle around, or he should still circle around. Come on, baby. All right, he's empty. <clears throat> all right, where's our truck at? He's coming. Would you like this clean too? Yeah, we want everything <laughs> clean. Gotta keep the equipment looking good. I'm just messing with you, Rickies. Like to have good looking equipment. <clears throat> we probably should look at what we actually need versus what we have. We I have know. quite a bit of gear. I know. It's starting to get where you get like a tab in like 15 times just to, to get well, to the vehicle. I to do that's that farm and logging. Put all of the logging stuff and the logging company and all the farming stuff in the yeah. farming company. Then you don't bounce through all the stuff. Right. All right, looks clean to me. Now make sure. I checked Actually, the I wheels. Wash, I didn't wash my auger wagon. No, you're dirty still. Your tractor's dirty. I can see it. Where? Go look at the wheels on your tractor. It's clean. It was tell clean. Me you, tell me you don't see dirt on those wheels in your tractor. Well, I think that's rust spots on the rim. Oh, no, that's dirt. Look that will come off. You sure? Look at it. I'm, I'm yes. spraying the wheel. It's not doing anything. Just point it right straight at the wheel and just sit there and watch it. Watch the back wheel. The back wheel is where you can really see it. And it doesn't matter where you point it. You could point it at the same spot and just leave it hammered. Well, look at how clean the back wheel is. I can't see. Your stream is really delayed right now. I'm still watching you wash the front wheel. 
How is it that you? Because on my phone it's showing right where I'm at. Are you on a tablet? No, I'm on my <clears> PC. On the PC. I've been watching your whole stream though. That's weird. Why? It, it why gets, is it? It gets off over time. It gets off more and more over time. All right, now it looks good. But look at the front one. Still got like the. It looks like rust spots that's right where. there. Yeah, that's where. Oh, okay. It, I didn't know there was a difference now between wear and rust. <laughs> no, wear and dirt. There or is dirt. A difference between yeah, wear dirt. dirt. Yeah. Did he sell? He must have. I just said that he reached his sell point. That means he <clears throat> went. He, so he doesn't get to that sell point until he's offloaded. So, like, if he's offloaded everything, then you'll see him reach that thing. So he's headed back to his wait point on the field. Okay. We'll let him sit there and think about the job he did today. All right. So now we got to get into... What is still on? Oh, my hazards. Trying to check all my lights for you so you don't get mad. I mean, we got a, one of them quick start battery chargers, so it shouldn't matter, but... Well, again, all right. That just makes more work for somebody else down right? the road. So you take <laughs> well, care of things. Down the road, it's either me or you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. do we not want to get in the uh, the fence? Is the fence ones that don't have that 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 uh, with the cruise control yeah. speed? Yep. It's the fence that do or don't. No, the fence work good. It's the ones that we were just using that are a pain in the ass. All right. And then is this the plow on the back of this, the red one, the straight? Well, you, you don't need to plow. Well, you only need to plow oh, the it's... places that are grass. You just need to cultivate everything else, and we do have big cultivators. Okay, but so we need to call. We need to plow that little spot where the rock was at, right? Or the the other yes. rock in the middle of the field, right? So yes. I can go do that real quick, and then we can cultivate everything, right? Yes. Okay. Whoop. I guess we didn't have the, the plow hooked up. Whoa, someone left it badly dirty. Really dirty. I don't know who that was. Probably was me. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> sure who that was. What a day today, huh? Oh, man. Well, I hope that it, that's all it is, is that circuit board, you know? Me too. Why did this Oop, not this right one. Here this? Oh. Oh. Now, it doesn't matter if I get on some of the corn part, too. I just need to get all the grass for sure, right? Yeah, just as long as you get the, the grass off, then you're good. All right. Because the cultivator is going to change this all. Uh-oh. I need to put it on limited fields. There we go. So I get I get this I get today and tomorrow off, and then my wife tells me, oh, um, she got to work today. So after work, she's gonna come home and then she's going back out to go have dinner with her boss. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, why don't I come with you? Nope, that's just between me and her. She's got a female boss, just so you know. Oh. I know I've said it before, and someone said, you allow your wife to go out with her. Her boss, you know, figure most bosses are usually male, but she's she's a female. <laughs> what song is that? What is which what's that sound? Are you selling something? Collectibles. collectibles. Oh, you're getting collectibles. Oh. I thought you were playing something because of what I was saying. Did you did you see where they were? No. They were right here. They were right here by this bicycle at our shop. 
Oh my we gosh. We've been driving by those things for how long? When we had our our prop hunt or whatever we want to call yeah, it. Yeah, we had that. Yeah. You found almost all of them, probably. I don't know. I wish there was a place in the map you could go or in the game and look and see if you got all the collectibles. Because I have no idea how many we've got. Is there not a place you can find? There them? should be an achievement spot on, on the on the map. I, I thought I thought Snake had said something about that. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I could have swore he said something like that. All right, I got that big circle. Did you say you wanted me to, that you wanted to fix something else over here? Well, hold on. Let me look I thought you were saying, but that'll screw up our weight points if we screw up the, if we plow this area where the weight, where the trucks wait. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Let me just look and see if there's any. I mean, I was actually thinking about because <clears throat> I did move them closer to the road, but yeah, I know this this little chunk over here with these trees is this is the other spot. So let me. You gonna erase all them trees? Yep. Do you want me to just do kind of like? I don't want to kind of make it like a uh, turn right at the first tree here. I just figured we'd straighten this up. Yeah, I mean, we could, I can make a line going right to the other side right here and we can. I just follow the road, like kind of. Oh, okay, I can do that. Like... Just make it this, about the same width as it is over on the other side. Yeah. <clears throat> you want to leave a little grass, right? Yeah, you don't want it right on the road. You want yeah. it just up to the road. Ricky's got the magic hands. He's deleting trees. Did I get them all? Yeah, it looks like I got them all. I was just watching your... Yep, they're all... We got them all. fast yeah fast you are time. it was taking me forever how did you do it so fast i have a button bound to my mouse that is the delete key so i just walk up to him and hit that button and him. oh because I, I i would have to walk up to it then go over put my, my other hand over the steering wheel to hit the delete button yeah i have a i have like three buttons on the side of my mouse and so I can bind those to things. So do I. I've never used them. <laughs> yep. I just, I went in there and uh, I bound the delete. Right now it's bound to the delete key. I bound it to the delete key and my left, or my middle side mouse button. Always thinking, Ricky. You're always thinking. I know. Let's see, can we do this? I think I need some lights on. I can't see where the hell I'm going. It's kind of got a shade right here. Yeah, watch this. Let's see something cool. Here, let me put it on the be right back so I can see. Huh. Are you, are you planning on deleting all them buildings? I think so. Oh, there it goes. It's, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? I mean, it takes away from the aesthetics of the map, but it's okay. But it we is don't cool. don't use this area for anything. Is that I over mean, on the other side of the big kahuna side. there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe we could put some sheds out there with, uh, put our semis in there. Well, oh, hang on, my wife's calling. I know that problem. <laughs> All right, we'll get this grass fixed, and then uh, we'll get in our cultivator. It should go a little bit faster. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming anyways, though. I kind of feel like I should try to let the dog out again, but the wife should be home in about half hour. 
All right, I'm gonna just hang out here. I'm gonna run over and grab my part. I'll leave the game up. You can keep playing. <clears throat> okay. Um, I probably won't be back on. So when you're done, just just log out, and I'll I'll leave it up and running all day. So if you decide to hop back in and just join the game and play. Okay. Well, hopefully everything well, goes well with that, and um, you know, if you get if you end up getting back on a little bit later, just shoot me a message or something. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, buddy, we try to take it easy. All right, we'll catch you later. All right, we'll see ya. See ya. All right, let's get Ricky's name off of here. Discord overlay, no. Window, where is it at? Which one is the Discord? Discord capture, this one. All right. Yeah, I don't know how long we're gonna be on here still. I'm gonna try and get this. I'd like to get this thing cultivated, but it's all gonna depend on when uh, when the wife gets home and what she wants to do here. I mean, it sounds like she's coming home to take the dog out and then leave. So I don't know. Kind of makes me want to go and figure out somewhere to go eat, but we have some bre chicken breast that I was supposed to make a chicken breast with some. Uh, with some salad today. I just can't, it's, it's aggravating to even go out anymore because stuff is so expensive. <clears throat> I got a pita sandwich and I haven't had a pita sandwich in years probably. And I figured, well, I'll try this place out. It's on the way home. I didn't want to go to Burger King or nothing like that. Freaking ten dollars for a fucking pita sandwich. I'm like, this is bull crap. He's like, you want to make a meal out of it? I'm like, no. And it wasn't even all that great. It was like a gyro pita sandwich. And it's like I literally was driving by this other place. It was a Mediterranean place that they sell like really great gyros. And I could have gotten it there for cheaper and gotten like double the meat and all that kind of stuff and I don't, I don't know I don't know is it like is it just me or are you guys all getting frustrated and how much everything is costing and and then like everybody wants a freaking tip there was a tip jar at the pita place I'm like but you're literally getting paid to make this like why do you have a tip jar out here I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not trying to be a Scrooge, but I'm just tired of like, like tipping people that I don't think need to be tipped. I mean, that's what you're getting paid to do. Just like I get paid to pick up garbage. No one gives me a tip for picking up their garbage every day. Then I walk into a restaurant at downtown by my route and I figured this first time I decided I was going to get a couple Coney dogs. And this guy's standing there. He's talking to a couple other people. And then all of a sudden, as I'm getting ready to walk out, he's like, hey, man, you got some money to buy me breakfast? And I'm just sitting there for a second. And I'm like, motherfucker. And I get it. Like, people can't afford things right now. But he looked perfectly capable to be working, for one. And anyway, so I ended up giving him... I had like a $10 bill and a two singles that I had in change from a couple Coney dogs I bought. And so I give him $2. I'm like, well, you know, hopefully this will get you enough. Never even said thanks, nothing. I almost want to rip the motherfucker right back out of his hand. I was so pissed. I'm like, fuck you, asshole. Like, and, and, I, and I blame these fucking owners that allow these idiots to fucking sit in there begging for shit. You know, go out in the fucking street. Go try getting a job for once in a while. I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking mad today. I don't know. I'm just... It's just aggravating. I'm like, I'm not... I'm not afraid or I'm not opposed to helping anybody, man. I, I'm i more than happy to help anybody I can. But you know what? You don't even want to put the effort in. And then... And you don't even have the courage... <laughs> the courtesy to even say thanks 
I mean, sorry, I, I couldn't buy you a $10 dinner or breakfast. But you know what? In that 20 minutes that I was sitting in, the, in there waiting while you're talking to all your friends, you could have went out there and tried to get a job, too. I don't know. I don't know. Am I wrong? Or is it just... Am I being too heartless? I don't know. I'm just kind of getting sick of it. Like, just because I have a, a good job, it, you know, it took me freaking years to, to get to the point where I'm at. And thankfully, my wife has a really good job, too. And I get it. Like I said, I get it. You know, that there's not always the jobs available but then you also have to have freaking skills and uh, somewhat of an education to try to get a job and not complain that you're working at McDonald's saying oh we need twenty dollars an hour to work here and then and then I want a tip for, for making a freaking picking up your hamburger off the freaking slide just I don't know it gets so upsetting All right, we're going to try and, I don't know, I don't even know where our damn cultivator is. Probably on the other side. Probably should have made a drink. I'll probably calm down. This Arnold Palmer is tasting good, though, today. I think the cultivator is the red one here. So at least that helps out because it's so much, it's bigger. It, we should be able to not take all day on this thing but it's still going to take a long time I don't know what do you guys think it, it, it might be in too hard or is it do you guys feel the same way do you guys get the same things going on in your cities or states or whatever <clears throat> it's like people don't want to work and then they're going to beg you for something that they don't want to work for and then, and he can't even say thank you. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> I think I gotta lower this thing too. Looks like it does lower. Now hopefully it won't screw up our field here. I'm just gonna get it straight to our tractor and then once we get the headland rows done then I'll uh, fix it to line up properly once we get it going let's see how much I miss on this first one I'm gonna try and keep half of it or a quarter of it off for the field so that I didn't know that I don't miss anything <clears throat> I haven't heard this song in a while. Pump it up, pump it up, come down. I don't even know the words to it. This is way back in the day. Keep forgetting that I can turn it up in my ears. Let's see if I can do it while I'm while I'm driving here. <clears throat> jump around, jump up, jump up, jump down. Something like that, I don't know. See, like, I make words up to the songs. <clears throat> I have a really dirty version of Kelly Clarkson's... Um, 
I think it's called Believe is the name of the song. You definitely don't want to hear it because I probably I probably have to delete the stream because I don't know if I get in trouble saying my version. Everything's sex related, so anything I make a song to or make my own version up to, it's all sex related or sexual. Although I've ruined this song for a couple people because of my version. Every time they hear it, I, all they think about is the version I told them. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna get this whole field done because this thing is massive. And I don't know if I want to be driving around cultivating the whole time. I've already been on for, what, three hours already? I mean, I'd like to get it done just so that we can get another crop on here. But we, we definitely got a bunch of log or trees that need to be cut down too, though. Like if this tractor would go like 20 miles an hour, it would be fine because we would get this thing done in no time, but eight miles an hour, it's gonna take forever. And I do need to get outside because it's kind of nice out right now and go and get the rest of the, get the rest of the um, leaves up and run my lawnmower. It's only got a little bit left of gas. I usually use my lawnmower to suck up the leaves and then I can run the lawnmower out of fuel too at the same time. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so I really need to get that done today. Maybe we'll do one headland row and then I'll probably end this stream here and we'll get that get my leaves done. Maybe I might jump back on a little bit here, at least finish cultivating or not, I don't know. <clears throat> I hate doing these corners just <clears throat> this thing takes a little bit getting used to how far it turns and all that. I mean, this is a massive field. Ah, see, I screwed up. I just don't want to leave anything on the ends because it's a bitch trying to come back to these, get these little teeny little spots. It's kind of cool that at least that we got that <clears throat> this spot over here um, got rid of that there was a rock sitting in the middle of that circle right there and with that new mod that Ricky got it's like hide objects or something like that so we were able to get rid of that rock so now we don't have to go around it anymore like to get, still get rid of some of these trees on the edges because it makes it hard to turn like the bigger vehicles the combine or this cultivator here if you overshoot a corner or something like that and I'm not very good at driving this thing because it's takes a little bit and I think I need a really 
I need to adjust my steering wheel sensitivity too. <clears throat> the sensitivity on it got jacked up when I, I bought a USB hub and the USB hub I think reverted my settings for my steering wheel and my joysticks. So I did the joysticks but I forgot about the damn steering wheel. So when I turn it, it seems like it's turning fast but I think that I need to make sure the dead zones that turn down to zero. Turn off my damn hub. Oh I, want, oh, I can't turn it off in here. Hang on. Let's turn off the HUD visibility. Hey, input is on. Okay, there we go. Here, at least I can have a nice clean screen here. I used to do this all the time in uh, Snow Runner because I didn't really care if I had the speedometer on there. When you're cutting logs, it doesn't really matter. The only thing I guess you worry about is you don't have. Uh, you don't have their how much fuel is left in the thing, and when you're processing, you won't have the the cut length if you somehow switch it somehow. With like mine's on my cut length for the processors on my right joystick. Sometimes I'll hit it with my thumb, so if I accidentally hit it, I wouldn't see that if you have the HUD turned off. Because so I don't think you can pull. Yeah, you can't pull up the other menu either. Let's see if I can make this corner. Uh, it's not too bad, but it could have been better. <clears throat> I mean, it'd probably take us another 15 minutes to drive all the way around this field again. If I got that done, then when we come back, I could at least use the vehicle guidance and make it a little easier. I mean, I could see, well, yeah, I can't use the vehicle guidance yet because we don't have, we got all these corners right here. Man, the shadow right here is really a killer. I even got my, I think I got you know, the high beams on. But like, so where we plowed it with the plow, it, the dirt looks different from when we cultivated right now. So I'm trying not to make sure I miss anything right here. Anybody got a good movie to watch? If my wife ended up, well, she is going out to dinner or whatever, meeting for drinks with her boss. I need a movie to watch. I heard Howard Stern mention a couple movies, but I can't remember what they are. But I need like, I like a scary action movie or something on either Netflix, Hulu. I think we have Amazon Prime. And I think we got one other one. Anybody got any recommendations for movies for 
that you've seen. The last one I saw was with that Jennifer Lawrence movie. <clears throat> I forget what it was called, but she was trying to get some young kid or younger kid that she was hired to, to have some experiences before he goes to colleges. I think it was No Boundaries or some shit. I forget. It, was, it wasn't bad. I mean, but it wasn't the greatest of her movies. <clears throat> Either that or it might, maybe I, sh I should go and see what's in the movie theater, I guess. If there was another Saw movie out or scary movie, I wouldn't mind going seeing a movie. I need, anybody got any recommendations on them? I think I briefly was looking through Netflix yesterday, but the movies I like versus the movies my wife likes are totally different. She don't like horror movies and stuff like that. I was trying to look for something. I did watch this other thing Snake was telling me about. It was called uh, Clarkston Farms. It's a real life farmer. I'm not sure where he's at. I forget where he's at. I just can't get into it though. I think he's because he's got an English accent, which is fine, but he just, he's not this, it's not the same as watching that Laura Farms. Like, she's got a personality. He's just, like, a new farmer. I mean, I've been watch. I think I got through three episodes so far. Last one, he just bought sheep, and he was trying to get the sheep to stay in the area with electronic fence, and they ca then he had to move them to another area because they had already ate all the grass in that area, and then the sheep wouldn't do what they wanted and he was using a drone with a barking dog's voice on the drone to try to herd the sheep where they wanted or where he wanted him them to go and they were going all over the place i just can't i don't know i can't seem to get into this one maybe i give it a couple more episodes but i feel like it's a waste of time when i'm really not into it Everybody's so quiet today. Can't think of any any other um, movies that I've seen out. If I had a couple of buddies, I'd go out to lunch with them or dinner, but everybody's working. It's the only thing bad. If you want to go out, there's nobody to go out with. I mean, I'd go by myself. I don't give a crap, but um, more fun, at least with a couple friends. <clears throat> I should go get a square one pizza. I know our friend uh, Cupid. He he goes to that place quite a bit, or likes the place. The only thing bad is they are really expensive, like everything else, of course. <clears throat> but I'm supposed to be eating grilled chicken with salad today, so I hate wasting things. So I'll probably just cook up a grilled chicken, but I am, once we get to the end here, we're going to probably end it. We're gonna get, I got to go out there and get my, get the rest of them leaves cut up or picked up get the lawnmower put away and then I mean it should only take me about 20 minutes anyways but I need to get it done while it's still nice out try and let the dog out one more time I don't hear the wife yet so I don't think she's home yet at least we got the two headland rows done and then we could start working on the middle part um, later on when Either when she leaves or when I uh, get done eating here. I may do another stream, but 
I hate doing two streams in one day because it seems like everybody will watch one of them or the other and then the other one will have zero zero views and I mean and I think it's because they might see the last notification saying um, <clears throat> that you know that I had done a stream but they don't see that there was two streams in that one day so I hate doing two streams in one day and not like I'm really care about views or that kind of stuff I mean I, I like I want people to see stuff if they enjoy watching or they just enjoy making fun of me then that's fine but I hate it if only one video gets seen and the other one doesn't so I try not to do two more than one stream a day like if it was up to me like if I if I can get all this other stuff done today I might just stream for four or five hours tomorrow but I'm planning on trying to do some snow runner tomorrow so unless I change my mind when I wake up I guess but I think I want to I'm just gonna stop it here and then we'll uh, we'll uh, try and work on this again later on or tomorrow but I do appreciate everybody hanging out I we, we managed to get a few things when we get the whole field plowed I mean so that's something and then got it partially cultivated at least the main part so now I can just start running running around with uh, with the vehicle guidance thing on here and we can uh, it'll be a lot faster than keep going around in circles so well everybody have yourself a great afternoon and we might jump back in here a little bit later. Thanks, Lone Jedi, for the resub. Eight straight months. I am so happy. Thank you so much for that. It was so awesome of you. Uh, we had Cupid in here. Ricky was in here. And anybody else that might be just lurking, thanks again for kind of watching and hanging out. Um, hopefully, if I don't finish cultivating it later, then we might start finishing up our rest of these little bit of trees over here. We got... We got this one little section of trees if we once we get rid of this this section of trees then we're gonna this whole area right here is gonna be another field so that area is right in here so all this is gonna be at another new field that we make which kind of look it, it might be an odd shape we might have to combine it with uh, 11 12 14 make this whole like go from here all the way down and back up the road and have all all this is a field because right in this middle part is all the power lines and I don't think we can really want to make a field in between all these power lines or this may be you know more areas where we're gonna put some houses and sheds for some of the vehicles and we still got a few looks like a few more well it looks like this lines pretty good so anything on this side of the power line, maybe we're not going to do. But we got to get all these logs back over to the landing and process them. But there's not very many trees left to cut down. So who knows? Either we're going to finish cultivating or I'm going to cut down these trees. Or I'll do it later on tonight. Um, and we can kind of go from there. So everybody, hopefully you had a good, have a good afternoon, rest of your day. And... We'll uh, catch up with you the next time. Take care, and we will see you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah.